Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's add some clouds to this fairly featureless sky here. We've got another image with clouds in. So I'm just going to click on the background layer here, Control C to copy it, go over here and Control V to paste it. And now we've got them in that separate layer. We need to kind of get through this. Uh, and a way to do this is to add a mask to blacken it out. I could I click on the mask layer here and I get a white mask and then invert it. But even slightly quicker, saves you half a second. Hold down the Alt key and then click on the mask. And you get yourself a black mask, which erases all of that. So in fact, I'm going to just take the bottom layer out altogether so we can just see this so it doesn't distract us for the moment. And we're going to bring back the clouds that we want. And the way to do that is to go to a brush here, make it uh, opacity 100, hardness 0, so it's very soft. I want to bring things back, so we need to paint on white. So I go here, and I need quite a large brush to start off with. And on that one there, there we go. And so you can see it's like a torch to show me the where the, the clouds are. In fact, if I turn that off for a moment, I think I'm going to bring this cloud here and these clouds down here. These, I'm not sure they'd suit. So bring that back. And I hover over that. I'm just going to paint on these clouds here. It doesn't matter about going kind of over things a bit, because we're going to figure all that in a little while. Yeah, that'll about do. Now what I'm going to do is kind of like paint a little bit around the edge, get rid of things I don't want here. So I'm going to need a to change the brush, so turn that to black and make this a bit smaller now. And I'm just going to paint away the extraneous stuff, particularly around the bottom of that one there. And these clouds that have been creeping in here don't need those. Everything else will kind of do. So now if I bring the layer back here, now look at what I've got here. I've got the clouds, and that looks okay, but I've got the sky as well. And the sky is a different coloured sky. So what I'm going to do now is I want the sky underneath, or the, the background sky here, to come through this lighter blue. So I've got the lighter blue fighting the darker blue, so I need the lighter blend. So I simply go to the blend modes here, go down to lighten, and there we go. Also, this might expose some of these other things here, so I need to go to the mask again and in black paint away things which are a bit of a problem here. See, and if I'm painting here, the, the land's not disappearing, so that's on the layer down below. So this can tidy this up a bit here. What we can do as well with this, if we need to, is, and particularly if that the sky isn't quite right, is to put on a, a curves here, so um, if I just turn that off for a moment, so we can just look at this. And I put on a curve layer onto this. This would help me to, if I needed to, darken up the sky and lighten up the clouds there. So all I do is click on the picker there, click on the clouds and drag up, and then click on the sky and pull down. So I've got a much darker sky now and kind of lighter clouds. So now when I bring back the bottom layer, then clouds are lighter. The sky behind is definitely darker. That's not going to come through. So there we go. We can put clouds on. We can even do things if I click on the move tool, click on the background here. I can move this around. I can position this. This needs to go up at least up to there. So maybe fill in that space there. So we've got our diagonal across the picture there. There you go. That's a little bit better. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.